Hi, Jack Bergstrom, coach, speaker, author of the upcoming book, Mastering the Art of Business by Referral. Today I'm going to talk just a little bit about leads groups. I believe I've talked about that before, but I want to capture some additional information about them, whatever comes top of mind to me. My first exposure with a leads group, um, I was a realtor. Early in my career, one of my degrees was in real estate. That entitled me to become a managing broker right out of college, and I entered the world of real estate. Terrified of rejection, um, completely unable to knock on doors. I could, uh, I was brave enough to put a stamp on a letter and mail it out to people, so that got me some business. And I eventually got myself to the point that I could network, pitifully, uh, grossly, badly. I ended up becoming friends with the other ones that stood around the outside of the edge of the networking areas. Also terrified of uh, networking. But eventually I became reasonably good at networking. And I met some realtors that were making an outstandingly good living doing nothing other than occasional networking and being part of a really good leads group. Now, of course, the odds of finding a leads group, a good, powerful leads group, that has an opening for a realtor, has an opening for an insurance agent, has an opening for any of the uh, common uh, careers, is not good. Because a well-run leads group uh, of a good size that meets regularly with the right people in it makes you a staggering amount of money, and there's very little else you need to do. So in the world of business by referral, if you are a service professional, you provide any kind of a service, and you work on a local basis, you must, must, be part of a leads group if you want to do business by referral in as little time as possible and make as much money as possible. And why on earth wouldn't you want to do that? Odds are, you're going to have to form a leads group. Now, leads groups form all the time. Any town of any size, leads groups are forming and they're falling apart because it's so easy to do it wrong and it's not so easy to do it right. Somewhere down the line I will write about the process of building a leads group because I've been fortunate enough to build a good one a couple times. I've been fortunate enough to consult with a lot of very powerful leads groups and while consulting with them I was learning from them what they did right, what they did wrong, how they made it through. I speak at lead groups on a regular basis because, well, they're very intrigued by the process of, you know, mastering the art of business by referral. Because a lead group can be good, but there's a way to make it great. Uh, and that was always my mission, how to go from pitiful to fair to good to great, um, to mastery if possible. So, mastering the art of business by referral, we'll talk about lead groups because it's an important component. Uh, it's a cha it is a chapter in the lead group probably, or maybe it's a bonus, maybe it's an extra piece, but eventually I will have to write a complete book about it because it's just that important, and it's so easy to do wrong, um, and I've personally followed almost all of the mistakes that can be made, so uh, I'll tell you where the landmines are and where the uh, the easy pickings are, where the grass truly is greener. This is Jack Bergstrom, coach, speaker, author of the upcoming book, Mastering Out of Business by Referral. And wherever you're at in the world, know that I'm wishing you all the best.